Wi-Fi networks available in public areas may require you to sign in to monitor and control your access. But what if the portal login page does not show up? If you are also facing such issues, then here's how to fix it. Temporary issues or technical glitches may prevent your Android's Wi-Fi from communicating with the network and loading the login page. As a first step, disabling and re-enabling Wi-Fi on your phone might solve the issue. To do that, swipe down from the top of the screen to access the Quick Settings panel. Tap the Wi-Fi icon to turn it off. Wait for a few moments, and then tap the Wi-Fi icon to turn it back on. Connect to the network again and see if the Captive Portal login page appears. Removing and adding the Wi-Fi network again is another classic fix that can help with various Wi-Fi issues on Android. To do that, open the Settings app on your phone. Go to Network and Internet and tap on Wi-Fi. Now tap the gear icon next to your Wi-Fi network. Tap the Forget option. You have now removed the Wi-Fi network from your phone. To add it again, tap on the Wi-Fi network's name to connect with it. It is also possible that the login page is not showing up because Auto Reconnect is enabled for the network. You need to disable it. To do that, open the Settings app and navigate to Network and Internet. Then tap on Wi-Fi. Now tap the gear icon next to your Wi-Fi network and disable the toggle next to Auto Reconnect. After you disable the Auto Reconnect option, your Android phone should disconnect from the Wi-Fi network. If entering a random web page URL does not take you to the login page, try entering the router's IP address. To do so, open your preferred browser or Google Chrome. Type in the IP address, which is 192.168.1.1, into the address bar, and select the first result that appears. If that doesn't work, type 192.168.0.1 instead, or check the router's support page to know the exact address to open the admin page. If you are using custom DNS or third-party DNS to improve network speeds, then this might be a reason behind the Captive Portal login page not showing up. You can turn it off to see if that fixes the issue. To do that, open the Settings app on your phone and navigate to Network and Internet. Now tap on Private DNS at the end of the list. Select Automatic from the Private DNS Mode dialog box and hit Save. Now restart your phone and check if the portal page is showing up or not. Another underlying reason could be the use of a VPN network on your phone. It's a good idea to immediately turn off your VPN connection and see if that gets the Wi-Fi login page to show up on your Android. Lastly, if none of the fixes work for you, then try resetting the network preferences on your Android phone. Do note that this process will delete all previously saved Wi-Fi networks, so you'll have to reconnect to them all again. To reset network preferences, open the Settings app and scroll down to System. Tap on it. Then tap on Reset Options. Now tap on Reset Wi-Fi, Mobile, and Bluetooth. Finally, tap on Reset Settings on the next prompt, and that's it. Hopefully, you are now able to successfully fix the Wi-Fi login page not showing up on Android phones. If you like this guide, make sure to follow and subscribe to Guiding Tech for more tutorials related to your everyday technology. And make sure to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.